Hello, welcome to Atal Tinkering Lab video series. Atal Tinkering Lab helps you translate your innovative ideas into reality. In this video series, you will learn about all the equipments in your Atal experiment manual and what you can build using them. So, let's get started. In this video, I will show you how to use DHT temperature sensor with Arduino Uno. We will talk about the sensor, how to connect it and how to write the code. So, let's get started. First, let's talk about the DHT11 sensor. It's a budget-friendly temperature and humidity sensor that's simple to use and perfect for beginner projects. It can measure temperature from 0 degree Celsius to 50 degree Celsius. It can measure humidity level from 20% to 90%. So, the DHT11 sensor has three pin, VCC, ground and data. VCC is for power supply, GND is for ground, and data is to communicate with the Arduino Uno. This sensor sends data digitally, so it works great with microcontrollers like Arduino Uno. For making this project, I will be using breadboard, Arduino Uno, some jumper wires, 16x2 LCD, 10k potentiometer, DHT11 sensor. Now let's move towards the connection part. First, we will connect LCD to the Arduino Uno. Connect LCD as per this circuit diagram. Now let's connect DHT11 sensor with the Arduino Uno. First, we will connect data pin of DHT11 sensor with the pin 8 of Arduino Uno. Then we will connect ground pin of DHT11 sensor with the ground pin of Arduino Uno. After that, we will connect VCC pin of DHT11 sensor with the 3.3V pin of Arduino Uno. Now let's move towards to the coding part. This is the code of our project. First, we have included the DHT11 library. Then we have included library for LCD, which is liquid crystal. Then we have defined the pin. We have connected DHT11 sensor with the pin 8 of Arduino. Then we have defined the LCD pinout. So these are the pin where we have connected the LCD. Then we will be printing temperature and humidity on the LCD. So this is the line where the DHT11 sensor will take input in a digital form. Then it will print the output on the LCD. So that's all about the coding part. Now let's upload the code. Then connect your Arduino to your laptop. Now select the board which is Arduino Uno and select the COM port. For me, it is COM5. For you, it may be different. And then click on upload button. Now let's see the working of our project. Once the code is uploaded, you will be seeing live temperature and humidity values on the LCD. So that's it for today's video. Do like and subscribe for more amazing videos like this. Thank you for watching.